Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Insider Financial Talks Penny Stocks. My name is Alex Carlson. I will be your host today. I am the editor-in-chief of InsiderFinancial.com, and today we are going to be discussing the Georgia Senate runoff election and how it is going to affect the cannabis space. But before we get into that, we have a few housekeeping issues. We have no business relationship with any company whose stock is mentioned in this video. Insider Financial and myself are not investment advisors, and this video does not provide investment advice. Always do your own research, make your own investment decisions, or consult with your nearest financial advisor. This video is not a solicitation or recommendation to buy, sell, or hold securities. This video is meant for informational and educational purposes only and does not provide investment advice. With that out of the way, remember to go and give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Hit the red subscribe button, the little notification bell to be notified when we go live with a new video. Also go to signup.insiderfinancial.com. This is where we alert our subscribers before our regular readers on when on new stocks that we are initiating coverage on. Uh, winners like NEO, MMMEDF, ENZC, and TSNP. Also, uh, if you want, uh, Webull is running uh, promotions to get up to four free stocks. Uh, there you can trade from 4 a.m. to 8 p.m. Uh, and they, have the, they don't have the down issues like Robinhood has. Go ahead and use our referral link to get those free stocks. And with that out of the way, let's get into discussing the Georgia vote. So this, uh, this article was written by my colleague, Mike Long. Uh, it came out on the 4th, just before uh, uh, Democrats and Republicans in the state of Georgia went to vote on the 5th. And he laid out what he thought was going to happen and gives you some background on what's happening uh, in the MJ space in, in the U.S., and how it uh, pertains to us as investors. Uh, one sign that uh, there, that the Democrats were going to win was that there was a record early turnout. A record over 3 million Georgia, Georgia voters cast their ballots early. Uh, this was setting up a showdown uh, that we saw the Democrats pull out the, the victory. So, uh, uh, we'll get into what happened there, but uh, you know, in terms of the the overall race, it's it was extremely important because it it was going to establish who controlled the the Senate. Was McConnell going to ma maintain uh, control as majority leader, or was Schumer going to catch the, the the nod as as majority leader? And it's going to put. Uh, with the Democrats winning, uh, it set everything up as a 50-50 tie, but since uh, Biden and Harris won the, the presidency, Harris as president, vice president will be the deciding vote in the Senate. So she is probably going to be the most powerful vice president in history because she is going to be able to set legislative agenda. Uh, she's going to be working with uh, Schumer and Biden to get legislation passed. And what's notable is that uh, she was behind the Moore Act. So uh, we'll discuss this here in a, in a little bit, but we think that she is going to be very pivotal uh, over the next two years, and we think this bodes well for cannabis names. So we are expecting, we saw a, a jump in, in many cannabis names yesterday. We expect this rally to continue through the year. So we're very excited about what's happening in the cannabis states, cannabis space. Um, right now, uh, only 36 sta states allow med medicinal cannabis, uh, whereas 14 states allow recreational use. Uh, and this is where marijuana is fully legal, and uh, these numbers have been growing uh, year after year as more research and science and also voters, uh, they are in favor of recreational use of marijuana. 
And here you can see uh, in the yellow is uh, medical, in the blue is recreational. So uh, Harris, she was the senator from California, so they led the way in, uh, in terms of recreational use, uh, and then they expanded to Nevada, Oregon, Washington, Arizona, Colorado, South Dakota, Montana. So the, the West has is, is been at the forefront of recreational use, uh, whereas the East Coast has been more along the lines of uh, medicinal. But uh, with New Jersey going recreational, Maine uh, and uh, Vermont uh, and uh, Massachusetts allowing recreational, we think this trend is, is going to keep uh, uh, going towards more uh, uh, approval and uh, we expect that federal legalization will be coming uh, in the next two years. And this is what we were talking about here, the MORE Act. This is the Marijuana Opportunity Reinvestment and Expungement Act. Uh, this is a uh, piece of legislation that would reschedule cannabis from the Controlled Substances Act and enact various criminal and social justice reforms, including the expungement of prior convictions. Uh, this was introduced in 2019. Uh, the House passed the bill on December 4th. Uh, this marked the first time a Chamber of Congress approved legislation to end uh, uh, federal marijuana prohibition. But the obstacle was the Senate, where uh, Majority Leader at the time, McConnell, he had stated that they would not even take up the bill. With him now going to Minority Leader, this uh, he can no longer dictate what bills come to the floor. Uh, furthermore, uh, the MORE Act, it would remove uh, cannabis from the Controlled Substance Act. Uh, and then there was uh, a proposal to tax cannabis products at 5% to fund criminal and social reform projects. Um, it would also produce the, the, the prohibit the denial of any federal public benefits like housing based on cannabis use and states that use or possession of marijuana would have no impact, uh, no adverse impact under immigration laws. Um, and now we are expecting that, that this MORE Act will be voted upon uh, by the Senate uh, sooner that, rather than later. And again, this is why the, the win in Georgia by Ossoff and Warnock is, was hugely important to the cannabis space. Um, and as we said, you know, uh, Biden, uh, he and Harris have come out in favor of uh, federal legalization of uh, marijuana uh, and that, you know, basically, you know, she feels that, um, you know, she was also a former prosecutor in California and, you know, she feels that it, it has harshly affected, you know, primarily people in the, in the African American community and that, you know, it is a, uh, you know, the science and the research behind marijuana says that it is not a uh, deadly drug and that there are a number of medicinal and therapeutic benefits to cannabis use. So, um, again, moving on here, uh, let's see here. And uh, this is, as we talked about, uh, Democrats winning. Uh, a number of stocks to watch, um, you know, the effect also, you know, had effect on a lot of uh, Canadian companies which have deals, notably Canopy. Uh, they're looking to buy acreage. Um, they're already bid, they were up 11% yesterday. They're bidding up 5% in the pre-market. But uh, the, the, the stocks that we really like, uh, Green Thumb, GTBIF, TCNN, F, which is uh, True Leave, uh, Cura Leaf, C U R L F, and C R L B F. And they all trade on the OTC markets because they are the um, they are the multi state operators, uh, growers of cannabis. And as since they deal in a at the at, at this time a federal illegal substance, they are not allowed to list on the on the Nasdaq or the NYSE, and that is why they are in the OTC. Passage of the MORE Act would allow them to uplist to NASDAQ or NYSE, and that would further propel their stock price higher because then this allows more institutional investors, particularly index funds, to be able to buy the, their securities now. 
Uh, moving on here, um, you know, we talk, uh, my colleague Mike, he talks about uh, Tilray and Afria, the merger, um, a few other uh, OTC stocks, uh, IIRP, IIPR. This is the only publicly traded cannabis focused REIT. Uh, the company manages a portfolio of real estate properties that it leases to medical cannabis companies in the U.S. Among its uh, properties are its its uh, that lease from it are Pharmacan in New York and Massachusetts, uh, the Farm in Arizona, Holistic Industries in Maryland and Massachusetts, Green Peak in Michigan, and Verario Health in Minnesota, New York, and Pennsylvania. And you look here, and this has just been a tremendous runner. So, uh, you know, it was as low as 40 bucks and uh, now it closed at 178. So uh, this is uh, up over 400%. So this has been a really, really nice runner this year. But, you know, guys, don't bet against uh, this trend ending. Uh, the, the momentum is there and we think it's going to continue. Um, and here, if you go to insiderfinancial.com and click on cannabis, you can look at our full coverage um, that we've gotten into. Uh, we talked about CBD of Denver. Um, we called it an extremely undervalued play. Um, we also talked about the outlook for Aurora, uh, KSHB, uh, and uh, GRWG. So uh, this one here has been a really nice runner, grow gen. And what we really like about this is that it is a pick and shovel play. It doesn't directly deal in uh, any cannabis, but it is a hydroponics greenhouse company. So it is supplying the 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 manufacturer the companies like True Leave, uh, Green uh, Green Thumb, and we came out with this article on November twelfth. You go over here to Green GRW GRWG uh, November twelfth. Let me come over here. And, uh, you know, the stock was at $20. We gave it a $50 price target, and uh, we are almost there. So, uh, again, this this has been, you know, just catching the momentum uh, and, and and riding it. And we're riding the, the, the wave. Um, and what we really like about GRWG is they have a roll-up strategy. Um, they're looking to buy other hydroponics uh, companies, uh, hydroponic growing centers. So uh, uh, they really have great management. They know what they're doing. And, uh, you know, they're looking to become the Home, Le home Depot, Lowe's, and, and tractor supply for contractors and farmers in the, in the cannabis space. Um, and as we've we've been re saying here repeatedly, uh, federal legalization is coming sooner rather than later. So uh, you know this is one that we really really like. Um, another one that we uh, had talked about uh, that we really like is um, True Leaf, and uh, this is TCNNNF, and this was on October seventh. You come over here to True Leaf on October seventh. And uh, this was at $20 at the time. It's almost a double. Um, and, you know, our specialty is penny stocks. But, you know, we really try to tell investors to have a diversified portfolio of, you know, 10 to 20 stocks. And, and you know, you're not going to go wrong owning some blue chip cannabis plays like uh, TCNNF or, or GRWG or IIIRPR. Um, and then you can also get exposure to, uh, you know, the space with some penny stocks. So, you know, you really want to be diversified uh, and, and, you know, all what we're seeing with uh, the space is a rising tide is lifting all boats. So, you know, we are on a hunt for other uh, small, uh, small cap penny stocks uh, in the cannabis space that, uh, you know, will, will benefit from this. Uh, I think that uh, 2021 is going to be the, the, another green rush. Uh, we've had uh, the first one was in 2014. We had another one in 2017, but uh, we think this, this year is, uh, is going to be even bigger. So we think there's going to be a lot of cannabis names running. Um, and um, let's see what else we've got here. Um, 
you know, we, if, if you're interested, uh, like I said, in any of your stocks, uh, go over to this search term. Uh, you can look up uh, our coverage. Um, we got, we've been covering the space for years now. Um, another one that had a nice run uh, yesterday was KSHB. Um, this is one we, we really recommend you take a look at. Um, finally got a nice pop yesterday. So, uh, you know, the space is hot. Uh, we think that uh, the win by Warnock and Osoff is just huge news, um, and it's going to keep uh, sending the, 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 the cannabis names higher. And, and folks, you know, as, as the Democrats now have control of all three branches of, of government, three uh, house, two houses, the, the, the Congress, uh, the House of Representatives and uh, the Senate and the executive branch uh, with with Biden in the in as president, you know, you got to start looking at, you know, which plays are, are, are going to benefit, which sector is going to be hot. You know, cannabis is, is one. We think, you know, we're seeing crypto running and crypto we think is going to keep running because I think Biden is going to take a hands off. The Democrats are going to take a hands off approach to crypto. Uh, you saw Jay Clayton. He did the, the SEC's lawsuit before he left against Ripple. Um, but you know the whole space has pretty much ignored it, and uh, crypto is is in, is running. And you're also going to see more fiscal and monetary stimulus. So we think blockchain plays are going to be hot. Yesterday, after the riots in on Capitol Hill, gun plays. The gun sector is hot right now. And you know if you look at that at the gun stocks, they've been hot uh, under. Um, they did perform best under Obama. Because there's always the worry that when the Democrats in control that they're going to try and restrict the Second Amendment. That's when people start buying guns. So Obama, he was the best uh, salesman for the gun companies. So, uh, you know, with Biden as his VP, you know, when he was his VP uh, and Obama, you know, uh, we think that Biden is going to basically follow Obama's playbook. Uh, some that saying that... The, Kamala, she's the real president, but we think Biden's, uh, I mean, Obama's the one really calling the shots. Um, EVs, uh, electric vehicles are going to be hot, green, uh, anything green energy. Uh, we're seeing the solar play, sun run, uh, uh, that, that's running. So uh, we think that that area is going to be hot. Um, and, uh, you know, we think uh, we're going to see more uh, federal legalization of, uh, of gambling. So uh, sports betting, so uh, DraftKings, FanDuel, uh, GAN, which uh, supplies is the software company behind a lot of these uh, 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 players. That's going to benefit no matter what. So, uh, you know, take the, the macro view, as we say, which is, you know, Democrats are in control. Well, what sectors are going to benefit and then play those sectors, play it with some blue chip stocks in that sector and then find some penny stocks in that sector. Um, give you, you know, right off the top of my head, you know, for blockchain plays uh, right now, uh, Mara is is running. Um, and that's been one that we covered here um, on at Insider Financial. You can come over here, go to Bitcoin, and uh, we talk about uh, Mara stock, why Mara stock is heading higher. We said this uh, uh, on August 5th. Uh, and uh, you can look here. I mean, we were a little bit early, but you go over here to August 5th. And uh, the stock was at uh, it closed that day at four bucks, so it's been uh, been a nice runner here, and it's already up. Uh, it's looking at 19 bucks in the in the pre market. Uh, but another one that we like there, um, ARBKF. Uh, this is a new IPO, ARBKF. Um, Argo blockchain and uh, this one has just been a tremendous runner from 20 cents uh, so um, some of our subscribers got in early on that so that's been a, just a tremendous play um, but you know guys we really uh, 2020 was a huge year we think 2021 we like the action we're seeing um, and right now you got to play the sectors I mean uh, in on OTC uh, last half of uh, 2020 everything was running uh, particularly anything related to covid um, but i think this 
2021, you got to be a little bit more selective. It's got to be more sector related. So, uh, uh, and and that's what we're we're focused on right now. So we uh, just to wrap all this up, we just want to thank all of you for watching and listening and subscribing. Uh, you know, before we go, remember go over to signup.insiderfinancial.com. Uh, we got a new alert coming. Uh, this only goes out to subscribers via email. Uh, if you are in the U.S., you can also uh, sign up with your mobile to get the SMS alert. Um, if you are outside the U.S., don't worry, you'll still get our email alerts. Um, also, in uh, the comments section, please leave a comment. Let us know if you own any of the, your thoughts on any of these stocks or if you got any stock you would like us to look at and initiate coverage. Um, so, again, um, we thank all of you for, for watching, listening, subscribing, and uh, we wish everyone a, uh, a, a profitable day. And uh, we, we pray that the carnage in Washington is over and we can all get back to a little bit of normalcy. And uh, hopefully the, the COVID pandemic, the vaccines work, um, and uh, you know, just basically getting people back, back to normal, kids back to school, uh, people back to work and, and living their lives. So uh, let's pray that uh, 2021 is a, is, a, is a better year all around. So uh, thank you again, everyone, and uh, we'll be coming to you live soon with a new video shortly. Thanks again. Bye-bye.